what we're talking implications of fourth industrial revolution and well, yeah yeah the change is coming so how do you adapt how what are you going to do that was where we were at i think yeah, no, exactly so so the, the change is coming or is already happening once you once you can if you take the fourth industrial revolution lens which is not my lens it's this is a, a phrase that was um it was um how Schwab, who came up with the, the term six, seven years ago now, I mean, if you take that lens and apply it to the changes that we're seeing, is things start to make a bit more sense. So I mean, you, you hear people in the pandemic saying that everything has accelerated seven years or 10 years uh, towards whatever the thing that they were thinking about is, whether that's digitalization or working from home or universal basic incomes or whatever direction they were looking at, they say the world has accelerated 10, 10 years but it's, it's accelerated on all fronts 10 years and what's the framework for that and that framework one of the frameworks that, that, that works for me is the fourth industrial revolution and you see that in, in in politics you see it in taxation systems you see it in industries which are uh, emerging those that are failing and you see it in, in the way that people go about um, uh, their digital tasks, whether the, and does digitalization mean remote control of your oil field or does it mean doing Zoom meetings with people? That's different people say it different ways, but they all call it digitalization. But the, this idea of remote sensing, working in a location different from where the operation is happening, this collaboration piece using technology in order to analyze information and data, all of those all of those things are digitalization and everybody's seen digitalization increase and, and, and you know i'm sure you, you've got kids at school doing homeschooling suddenly all the schools went online and now that's digitalization as well the right it is i have three right now in lessons in different rooms on yeah. online with their teachers exactly right yeah. now and, and so we've all gone digital but we don't know how to do it you know the, you know, the if we go back a year ago and, and said to any teacher, you know, well, I say any teacher, the majority of teachers, you know, do you want to do your lessons on Zoom? Uh, I think that you get a lot of people going, well, I'm not entirely sure what that is or how it works. Now you're seeing some people emerge into digital masters. Doing, you know, some schools and some teachers are incredible in, the, in what they've innovated around the technology that in front of them given the situation they've invented ways of doing this uh, uh, and, and some are, are using their old methods of teaching as if there was a classroom and they're talking into the camera and it's not really working the same way so things have moved on uh, it's digitalization some people are embracing it and some people aren't 